Welcome to Pro Wrestling Potluck. I am your host, Scotland Green. Welcome to the 100th episode of this show. This version of this show. They told me it won't work. It will never work. And now they're dead. And I am alive. Thank you so much for tuning in to this 100th show. Uh, I, I started hosting this uh 2022 and uh so i've done 50 a year right yeah that's pretty good that's pretty good they call me mr no weeks off at my own detriment <laughs> uh we're gonna have a fun one this is a packed show this is a very packed show a super sized show which is what you say when you know you're going over already uh tonight on this show we have uh a guest, Steamboat Willie, the second biggest guest ever on Potluck, uh, will be later in the show. Uh, we also will play a round of guests returning to AEW Fight Forever. We're going to play guests. It was a hit. I, I asked the Instagram people, and that's what they wanted. Uh, we'll also be spinning the Wheel of Funk. It's going to be a big one. Um... Get in the chat. 
that's what i'll say if you're watching live get in the chat that's the way to do it if you're watching on youtube why don't you comment wouldn't that be nice a comment ha 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 I don't know. Is that what people comment? That seems mean. Uh, a nice comment would be perfect. It would make my day. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, come over live Thursday nights. We do this every Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern on Twitch. Mr. Green Mist. Hello to the chat. The chat is there. I love the chat. Get in there. Say hello. Um, let's see. Is there anything else? I don't think so. I think I... Oh, I have a new segment debuting tonight. Uh, later on in the show, a brand new segment. Scotty's Hot Take Corner. But not yet. Not yet. Scotty's Hot Take Corner later in the show. Um, yeah, we got a good one. Let's just get to it, right? There's no there's no reason to, to dilly-dally and fiddle-faddle. Uh, which I think is a snack food. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you so much. I've been talking. I've been talking up a damn storm. I don't even remember what I was saying. ATL Blood Feast. Gold Star. The best for alerting me that I was, I knew something was gonna, technical problems, our old friend, the curse of Bentley. All right, so this is from uh, SmackDown's 100th episode. That's what I was saying. When SmackDown had 100 episodes, this match was on it. So it is on our 100th episode of Pro Wrestling Potluck. And then I said something about why is Jeff Hardy wearing a jersey? Good, get that off. I think that was. I think that covers it. So Mike Awesome versus Jeff Hardy from SmackDown 100. Short-haired Mike Awesome. It will not be a wrestling match. They're not wrestlers. These two men are going to fight. Not to mention, we also know that Tajiri... Not that Tom Green in the house. Check him out Tuesday nights. I was there. That's a fun show. WCW Deep Cuts, Tuesday nights, 9 p.m. C&D shows, and more. And more. It's a hang. It's a happening. Jeff Hardy doing the type. Oh, ho, ho. To the face. Off the head, and he may be out cold. You just gotta wonder if Jeff Hardy just. Oh, look at the cover. Don't tell anywhere, and Hardy gets the shoulder up. He might be out. Now I did before. Uh, before I checked SmackDown 100, I did check Raw 100, and uh, gave it a big nah. <laughs> nah, I don't think there's anything I wanted to watch on that. But I saw this, and I was like, Mike Awesome and Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy will be bumping all around for Mike Awesome. Yeah, it's New Generation, which is my stuff, but I, I don't think there. I don't even remember what was on it now. But nothing, nothing stood out as something I would want to uh, put on the show. He could be in the main event in the inaugural brawl. We don't know who Shane and Stephanie are going to select for their five-man team. We do know that WWF team is going to consist of Kurt Angle. We got Cole and um, Jr. Aldo Montoya versus Zip. It's my shit. I want to say it was even worse than that. Frank and Hardy. No disqualifications, falls count anywhere. This is for the WWF hardcore time. Uh oh, now, now Jeff Hardy can get pretty That's true. Ooh, ladder. Can take some chances. Now that you're bringing hardcore ladder, match, anything right is Hardy, is uh, Hardy legal. Hardy Everything Hardy is legal. Has a lot of experience in ladders and knocking Mike Awesome down. Or nothing is legal because there's no rules. To hold because he stole the hardcore championship. It might have been Duke Trossi. <laughs> And the goon. That sounds about right. Dr. Liam in the house. Oh, right in the room. Hardy Potter. <laughs> Jeff Hardy is cooking. 
Michael Cole says, let him cook. Ooh. Look at Mike Awesome move, getting up that ladder. <laughs> the masked heel, thanks for first time chatting. And, and look, T.L. Hopper versus Freddie Joe Floyd might get on this show. That is some of the junk that I like. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> do not ask what Jeff Hardy is cooking and what all the Sudafed is for. Yeah, they know him down at the uh, CVS. Have you seen this man? Big old dive from Mike Awesome. Oh, 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 this is what I wanted to see. Big German suplex. In the shiny trunks, Mike Awesome. This is a, a different version. JR, that's the thing about this coalition formed by Paul Heyman, Shane McMahon, and Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. It has so many great athletes, so many stars to choose from. It's unreal. Uh oh. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, look out now. Into the dance. <laughs> oh, Christ. Concerto perfectly legal in this whole match. Awesome has been felled by the Concerto by Edge and Christian. No disqualifications, anything goes into this house. Oh, wow, that's disgusting. Look at these two. I did not expect to see them on our little program. Nathan, what's up? Welcome. Boo. All right, what's next? Some people take up a hobby or partake in a team. Okay, I'm going to pause this. Let's give this a little pause. So. This was sent in by the Suzanimal, Adam Suzanne, top contributor to the potluck. And uh, it's a it's hundred thing facts about wrestling that you may not know. And we'll say, hey, I knew that. I didn't know that. I knew that. I, I'm going to say, with this chat, we're going to know it all. We're going to know it all. But I've split this up. But uh, let's see. Do we know this? Personally, I sit up late in my basement, illuminated by the flickering light of a single candle. The reason? Facts. Hours upon hours spent researching facts, eating dry bread and drinking water while I'll looking be so up mad if endless this, facts. This junk not gets lonely, me. <laughs> Copyright. Facts are fun. Did you know, for example, that the planet Uranus used to be named George? Isn't that wacky? As I'm sure you're aware, wrestling is fun too. So I've decided to combine the two for your viewing pleasure. Without further ado, I present to you 100 wrestling facts you didn't know. Well, oh, let's see. Probably. Join us. Raven is the only wrestler to have had an action figure made by WCW, WWE, TNA, and ECW. SmackDown was originally set to be a two-hour women's show. WrestleMania 16 didn't, didn't have a single male singles match on the card. Hmm. Sean Stasiak has been a hardcore champion in WWE 15 times. Each of those reigns lasted less than a day, and he was never seen with the belt on TV, as all of the wins and losses... Oh yeah, I watch QI. Shows. In 1994, Jeff Hardy wrestled King Kong Bundy. Stone Cold Steve Austin's first televised WWF opponent was none other than Matt Hardy. Ric Flair was stolen as a baby. I knew that. Hulk Hogan has a big penis, but Terry Bollea does not. I Jim Ross that. defeated Triple H one-on-one -on -one in the main event of Monday Night Raw. Vince McMahon didn't meet his biological father until he was 12 and was raised as Vince Lupton until then. Terry Funk made his debut the same year as The Undertaker was born. 
Whoa. Alberto Del Rio wrestled more matches on Raw than Stone Cold Steve Austin. Dolph Ziggler has never had a singles match at WrestleMania. Undertaker's original in-ring name was Kane the Undertaker. Oh, everyone knew Vince that. This McMahon is 1-0 against God. For now. Mr. WrestleMania Shawn Michaels lost 11 of his 17 WrestleMania matches. Kane was born in Spain, probably on the plane. Triple H owns the record for most losses at WrestleMania. Wow. The Rock is a skilled light tackle saltwater fisherman. Brock Lesnar versus Kurt Angle at WrestleMania 19 was the first WrestleMania main event where both competitors used their real life names. WrestleMania 2 happened on a Monday. The Undertaker and Sting did actually wrestle. Sort of. The Undertaker, who was known as Mean Mark Callis at the time, wrestled Sting for the NWA title after Mark Callis subbed in for Barry Windham, who was originally advertised for the match. Diamond Dallas Page's first WrestleMania appearance was at WrestleMania 6, appearing as Rhythm and Blues Driver. I there he that. is there, look! Speaking of DDP, he was 33 years old when he had his first pro wrestling match. The I Undertaker has a real-life phobia of cucumbers. Why this hasn't uh, been incorporated into a match, I don't match, buy that. I that that understand. seems... Remember Kyle and Kai's English voice dubbing when they delivered a promo? That voice was Shane McMahon's. What? Finn Balor signed with WWE Bruce in 2014. Adam Cole signed in 2017. They both made their Royal Rumble debut in the same year, 2018. The original idea of the Mankind gimmick is that he was a piano-playing child prodigy who couldn't take the pressure his parents were putting on him, and so he went to live with rats. Mm. John Cena has never held the Intercontinental Championship. The These are a lot of facts. Perhaps I should have broken this up into four videos instead of the two. The Miz has main evented WrestleMania more times than CM Punk, Ric Flair, AJ Styles, and Bruno Sammartino combined. I'm drinking Mountain Dew Major Ray Melon Mysterio tonight. Was a stunt double for Freddy Krueger. Billy Kidman is the only person to have three straight pinfall victories over Hulk Hogan. Shinsuke Nakamura and Hulk Hogan appeared on the same pay-per-view card in consecutive matches. Abraham Lincoln invented the choke slam. Vince McMahon that. hates scarves and told Alberto Del Rio to wear one when he made his debut as he thought it would draw heat. Before he was Dean Ambrose, John Moxley once cut a promo completely naked. Andre the Giant Whoa. once fell asleep during a you match with that. Big John Studd. Batista got his belly button tattoo because his girlfriend wanted to get matching tattoos and he thought that was the best place to get one. Wow. They've since broken up. According to the Honky Tonk Man, Howard Finkel at one point had the largest physical collection of porn videos in the United States. <laughs> WWE's most viewed YouTube video of 2015 was Lana kissing Dolph Ziggler. Chris Jericho is from Winnipeg, you idiot. Rob Van Dam currently has the best undefeated streak at WrestleMania with a record of four wins. Paul Bearer, before getting into the wrestling business, actually worked at a morgue. Michael Cole has a higher WrestleMania winning percentage than The Undertaker. One of the options for Stone Cold Steve Austin's ring name before he debuted was Fang McFrost. Another that. option was Otto Von Ruthless. And another option was Buddy Peacock. Buddy Neville Peacock? Neville competed for the NXT title, the US title, and the World Heavyweight title, all through open challenges. At the time of his death, Bruiser Brody was in talks with WWE to come in for a run that would have been highlighted by a WrestleMania main event against Hulk Hogan. That makes me sad. Chris Benoit's title victory at WrestleMania 20 was the first time a title was won by submission in the main event at a WrestleMania. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat's real name is Richard Henry Blood. Dick, Dick Blood. Blood. We all know Sabu's that. Sabu's real name is Terry Brunk. We so all know that. So the infamous ECW Born to be Wired match was Terry Brunk versus Terry Funk. Program this week. All right. <clears throat> so those are our first 50 Dada, facts. I knew a lot of those. Of and now, this was sent in by Dr. Liam Crimson Mask Replica on Instagram. Highly recommend you follow him on Instagram, Crimson Mask Replica. Post great stuff every day. Great information. Terrific. The question is, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing very good. In fact, I got good news for you. We could stand some good news. What is it? Tomorrow I'm going back in the hospital to take off my cast. That is really good news. So tomorrow the cast comes off. You obviously, Andre, have been exercising and things of that nature, have you not, to uh, keep the ligaments loose or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, probably four or five 
five more weeks, I'll be back in the ring, maybe before that. The doctor says that everything is okay, it'll be perfect, maybe in two weeks. So That'd be a good name for a dog, Buddy Austin, Peacock. Uh, <laughs> you're going to be thinking about stepping back in the squared circle. Let me ask you, Andre, do you feel, your doctors and what have you feel, that it's wise to go back into the ring so soon? I, we're going to find it tomorrow after they take off the cars. They're going to take some more X-ray. And then I'm going to be ready, I think, maybe two or three weeks. And Freddy Brassy, he better get Kid O'Connor in shape because I'll be ready to chase him everywhere. Andre, I'm sure it was uh, frustrating for you to be in the hospital and to listen to Fred Plassey. Oh, there he is. Classy, Freddie Blassie. What do you got this pluk on there for? What are you asking him for? You see the legs broke? He's all through. He's washed up. He's not with Mr. Blassie. What are you talking about? I'm washed up. You say I don't go to wrestling anymore. But I got the news. I'm going back to that thing. You're going back on what? You're all through. This is nothing but a pluka. He's all, all through. The man is through. You. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hitting him with the crutch. Oh, it is R.I.P. Killer Khan helping out. David Syracuse asks, how big was that crutch? Might have been the world's biggest crutch. Right to the squared circle here in Philadelphia. Oh, wow, we're getting right this to it. Packed arena we are. The extraordinary this is the Mongolian stretcher Andre match between Andre and, and Killer Khan. Type matchup. Over the top rope, he steps to face off against the Mongolian Killer Khan himself. There you go. Giant like proportions. These two extraordinary athletes will clash and what's known as a Mongolian That's a good question. I would say yes, and, and that's just a guess. But one of the somebody must know. Be carried from the ring on the stretcher, incapacitated. That will be the way this match ends. It's one fall to a finish. And this was also and sent in by Dr. While, Liam. Given the wrestling skills of this extraordinary athlete, like let me just say, Kong. this uh, Melon Mountain Dew might be the Khan best one. Off against the thus far undefeated Andre the Giant. But make no mistake Killer. about it, here in Philadelphia, Killer. Andre could very well be biting off a little bit more than even he can chew. Andre taking a tremendous risk fighting Killer Khan's type of a matchup. And we're just about ready to begin the match. Andre putting the undefeated streak on the line against Killer Khan. Andre, of course, some time ago in a previous matchup, there's a look at the stretcher. How big is this stretcher to have to be? You, you, how are you going to get Andre on a stretcher? Plus My man needs a forklift. The somewhat smaller version of Killer Khan. You will recall it was the Boston Garden. As now the match begins, the Boston Garden was there the setting go. We in got which our answer. these two met once before, in which Killer Khan broke the ankle or the foot of Andre the Giant, putting him out of professional wrestling for some time. But Andre right away. You're just joining butt. us. This is Andre the Pro Wrestling Hot Killer Lefty Live Weekly Wrestling Mixtape. This is our 100th Andre episode. Andre now with a tremendous right hand. Killer Khan backing off all the way. It's Andre the Giant, the aggressor, and why not? Andre with Killer <laughs> Khan on the run as Khan now leaps to the outside to collect his thoughts. Uh-oh. Andre has Killer Khan by the cue, pulling him in by that one little piece of hair there now with the wrist. Andre with another right hand. Cases of wine. Andre now with Killer Khan. Whips him into the rope, sets him up. Oh, my, with a boot to the face. And Killer Khan down on the canvas. Hey, Roundtable Pro Wrestling, thanks for the chat. Oh, that may do it. Hit me up. Andre, Follow me on uh, Instagram. Plus pounds, Send me right some down stuff. To the sternum of Killer Khan. Andre now not wanting the referee to interfere in this anything goes type of a matchup. 
They have asked for the stretcher, however, I don't it's think right, It's Bala. right on the uh, screen, Mr. Green missed. Putting Killer Khan, no, he definitely does not want to have Thank you. anything at all to do with that stretcher. He's now going for the ankle, trying to get the big man over. Killer Khan trying to knock Andre the Giant Let's go, down Killer! The size. Let's and go, Khan! Very well do it. Now, I don't think he can backdrop him, however. Andre at 400 plus pounds, Andre hanging on, oh no. Oh, it's bad for Killer Khan. David My Syracuse, three-stream streak. Andre Hell the yeah, Giant buddy. Now. I appreciate it. Headbutt that misses. Ooh, headbutt misses. Big head hitting now, the mat. Perhaps turning around a little bit for Killer Khan. Is Khan, who has been taking a tremendous beating from Andre the Giant thus far all the way through this matchup. But now... Andre, I like that ref's shirt. Sure. It, it looks like when pitching, you see a photograph of uh, your dad or your, your grandpa, Khan depending on how, how old you are. Uh, look, that, that's the kind of shirt they would be wearing in an old the photo. Same leg, the same ankle that was broken in Boston and really going to work on it. There is some question as to whether or not Andre the Giant has full capacity, full range of motion with the ankle that was broken in Boston. You can see Killer Khan is going to find out one way or the other. Khan hanging on for dear life, really trying to test the ankle as he shoves the referee back. This is vintage Killer Khan who will take advantage of every opportunity. And right now it looks like Andre the Giant's undefeated streak is really in question. Shout out to Mongolia. Andre Killer Khan down to the canvas. But meanwhile, referee trying to get the ankle loose from the rope and Khan Ooh. down with a tremendous knee. Right in front of the ref. Referee still having difficulty. Khan on the rope on the far side, tightening the ropes <laughs> by a sheer weight on the far side. Killer Khan down with a knee really again. Is. It's a high, drinking high life when the guys well, are not over. Not only it appears suffer. <laughs> More damage to the ankle area, but I believe, yes, he's going to suffer defeat. Killer Khan has asked for the stretcher. Andre the Giant. Wow. Lo losing this matchup, and it appears as though his undefeated streak also... What are they going to do? Have the entire history. locker room no come out and help carry this dude? Andre the Giant. But here in Philadelphia, Killer Khan capitalizes on apparently what was indeed... A very damaged ankle is on. No, Andre! Oh. Andre! Andre with a stretcher in hand! Using it as a weapon. Killer Khan, oh my, right across the back. Andre, <laughs> far from being over, the match is not over at all. And Andre the Giant moves in on Killer Khan. Andre with Khan. Can you imagine Head how scary Khan Andre is when he's drunk? Andre, you can still <laughs> you see. <laughs> Very much favoring the left ankle, the one that was broken in Boston. Sir, sir, Andre it's time to go. Oh, I like almost that. For good. Many doctors Holds the top him. rope, is still able to, to sit circle, down. Look what Andre That's is rad. That's a rad and move. And again, down across the head. Referee now very much concerned for the physical well-being of Killer Khan, who has Killer really Khan. suffered the attack of Andre the now Giant. And put him on the stretcher. Be stretchered. And I, no, look at this. <laughs> Killer Khan he don't want to go on the stretcher. The Give credit to Khan for being an extraordinary competitor, but Andre now, just all over, eating him up. Oh my goodness, there won't be anything left of Killer Khan. <laughs> And now, bringing in the stretcher again, <laughs> hopefully for Killer Khan's sake, he won't hang on to the ropes. Hopefully, this will be all she wrote. Khan, however, resisting. Oh, I need to see to that. Now, I haven't seen that. Being placed on the stretcher. Now, finally, they have him on. And I think the match is going to be over. He's for holding Khan's on. Khan's sake, he better take the ride on the stretcher. No, Khan's still hanging on to the rope. I have not seen Killer a lot Khan. of Akira, Akira and Maeda, and I know uh, Joel Gertner suggested it in his uh, four-minute cameo, in the where he had a lot of great suggestions. Ooh, what a right hand that was. Killer Khan slumping in the corner. We have seen nothing in the way of an offensive at all from Killer Khan for the last, oh, ten minutes Ooh. or so as Andre takes him nice over. Nice suplex. 
It was Killer Khan's intent to put Andre out of pro wrestling in Boston. There's no doubt. It's certainly Andre's. Oh, my! It's certainly Andre's intent to do just that to Killer Khan. Put him out of professional wrestling for Definitely good. Definitely, you got Derriere in there. Now, perhaps the referee has persuaded Andre to allow Killer Khan to be placed upon the I took the both French and Spanish in uh, in high school and college, and I feel got a nothing. little bit sorry I got for Killer nothing. Khan. I got holes not in my brain. That's not how you get in the yes, stretcher. <laughs> it appears as though. If he gets him, yes, the match is over. <laughs> so he's got to carry him now. It's like, God damn it. The stretcher, incapacitated. Hey, well, thanks for following Brent the Kiss Maximus. Yes, I appreciate indeed. it. And now we know who the real and only giant in professional wrestling is. It's this extraordinary athlete, 400 plus pounds, 7 feet 4 inches, the man who knocked the Mongolian giant killer con out of professional wrestling. Yes, the one in the... Go. Hello, Glow fans. This is it. The show we've all been waiting for. It's Glow's 100th show. Don't miss today's very special show as we recap some of Glow's finest moments. We'll take a look at classic matches, hilarious comedy, and special scenes never before seen on television. Stay with us for all the action, excitement, madness, mayhem, laughs, and thrills as we proudly present part one of a two-part special, Glow Show 100. Congratulations, Glow, for getting to 100 episodes. I'm sure our paths were very similar. Good song. simple with just a look and a thought anything can be yours looking further deeper longer into the buzz all right. Hey, Brennicus Maximus saw the stream because Tom mentioned it. That's great. Thank you, Tom. And thank you, Brenticus. Hope you're enjoying our 100th episode. This is the buzz bin match of the show. One of two buzz bin matches. The buzz bin is uh, the hot match that people are talking about. People are talking about Julia versus Megan Bain. Now this this shows uh, admiration and and uh, everything for Julia is is well documented. But Megan Bain is the shit. The more I see of Megan Bain on on this show and on uh, the Buzz Show that we do, the All Buzz Show on the weekends, I'm I'm excited for her future. She's great. Thank you, Doctor Shockmaster. I think she's cosplaying as someone from the island that Wonder Woman is from. That's what I... And and somebody told me what it was the last time I brought it up, and I forgot. I think it starts with a TH. Julia from the uh, potluck PWP25 up there at the top. Not number one, but damn close. All right, for the New Japan Strong title, champion Julia versus challenger Megan Bain. 
Me too. I've been in spoiler lockdown um, since it's early this afternoon. I started watching uh, Wrestle Kingdom. Not finished. Not finished. So, uh, you know, if we could uh, not spoil things, that would be great. But I did see the Julia disbanding her group. And that's, that uh, lends uh, credence to the rumors that she's leaving. なんかメーガンの手がね、私のお顔にね、ぶつかったのよ。すごいその後もうずっと痛くてね、すごいあの戦ってないんだけど。Crotch necktie. Well, that's our first possible title. Thank you, Brian. Crotch necktie going on the list. Going on the list. おおきいというのは異構強いですからね。まあおそらくメーガンベンはパワーで押してくるでしょう。Strength of Megan Bain. And the size. Ah. Wow, by the braids. Jesus. Drop kick to the knee. Oh, let's check that out. This is this is probably a good enough spot as any for me to say this, but I am looking for a current Lucha bootleg source. I know Lucha Blog put some stuff up, but he he has a little time window. I, I was I was looking for Andrade versus Volador Jr. from the December 29th CMLL show. Could not find it. It's driving me bonkers. Big slam from Megan Bain. One count only. Three overhand chops met with a big forearm from Megan Bain. Still to come on this show, we're going to be spinning the wheel of funk. We're going to be playing guess. We're going to have Steamboat Willie on. We have a big show. <laughs> Ooh, hell of a suplex for Megan Bain. Julia in trouble. Two. I think after this match, we'll play guess. Yeah, she could be Wonder Woman or she could be like a, a rival, a rival of, of Wonder Woman. <laughs> yes, please. That would be an awesome match. Ooh. So Mariah May debuted on Dynamite last night. I thought that was a great debut. 
<笑>これはやっぱこれを突破口にしていこうということでしょうかね,そうですねだからだからこの今伸びてる腕に対してこの二頭筋の力がまた脅威でしょうから、はい、ね腕を伸ばされる時間が I thought that was a rad moment One arm just places her on top the way I place my kitten on the cat tree. <laughs> Gets that boot up. Oh, going for a DDT. Oh, wow. That was awesome. Ooh. Reversal from Julia. Caught. Look at that. That is a big time Boston Crab. If I could remember the name of the island that Wonder Woman is from, I would say it's uh, that crab, but I don't know. The Massachusetts crab. Isn't she from? Where's it? Didn't someone say she's from Connecticut? Connecticut crab? What happened to the sound? Yeah, man, stardom does that, I think. Why did the sound go down so much? Two! I'm trying to fix the sound on this. I'm not sure why it dipped. Oh, I know why. This is accidentally turned it down. <laughs> that will do it. Accidentally turning it down will do it. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm whiffing poof. <laughs> The mascara. The mascara? Is that how you say it? Jesus. I'm not so smart. Oh my god! Wow! Sit out. Power bomb. The awesome power of Megan Bain. Jeepers creepers. I'm gonna put more uh, Mountain Dew in my goblet. Stardom's kind of stingy with their replays, huh? Be a good time. Both people laid out. Let's uh, see a replay of that thing. Yeah, good call, Dr. Liam. That better be called the Megasis Bomb. Slap fight. Ooh. <laughs> Julia absorbs it. Wow. 
簡単ではないやはりこのメガンベを投げるというのは難しいようです I think, I think that's the most WWE、uh, talent possible There's, there's no better name you could have put there, ATL Blood Feast. Julia and Carmella. Ooh, wow. Suplex into the ring. My God. Yeah, she is awesome. And I feel like, you know, I, she wasn't on my radar a few months ago, and she's gotten better in those few months. Ooh. Oh! Dumps her on her neck with that suplex, too! Now, what about this? What if you put Julia in Imperium? They got an Italian guy in Imperium, right? Julia in the same group as, as Gunther would be awesome. Just this European collective, even though, well, she's Italian and, and Japanese. Like, like it matters in WWE. Well, I hope she can twirl the jacket. That's the entry point into Imperium. Born in the UK, there you go. <laughs> Trying to get her up. And <laughs> Megan Bain lifts her up with ease. Pile drive. Hooks the leg. I'm a big fan, and it's it's a long time coming in televised wrestling, of uh, wrestlers that don't speak English or don't speak a lot of English. Just let them speak their language and put subtitles. It's awesome. Two. Santino, one of America's uh, uh, finest uh, comedy wrestlers. Definitely in the top five. Crowd behind Julia. Megan Bain st stomping around. Dangerous territory up here. Oh, my God. On the shoulders. Megan Bain on the second rope. Julia getting free, perhaps? Ooh! Sunset Flip Powerbomb! Tip! Two! Megan Bain still in this New Japan Strong title match. The champion 
The great Julia. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> How could Megan Bain move like that? Man, the chat is booking the return of Santino. <laughs> What's she doing? What are you doing up there? Moonsault? Wow! Sliding to the other part of the ring. Ooh, big knee! That's it. Hooks the leg. Two. I was wrong. Oh, trying to choke her out. Megan Bain still got a lot of fight. Reaching for the ropes. There is not a rope to be found. Referee doing the arm thing we all love. One, two, three, and it's over. That's it. That's it. And still, that was great. Your first of two Buzzbin matches. Cool Dude Food in the house. Owen Straw, the man who makes the original music. Attention, Owen Straw. All right. We are now in hour number two of this supersized episode of Pro Wrestling Potluck, the 100th episode. Still to come, we got a game of guess. We also will spin the wheel of funk, and Steamboat Willie will make an appearance. This is still going on, huh? No Babylon 5, never ever all right here we are we're back we're back guess is back and and i pulled instagram followers follow me on instagram mr green mist on instagram that's how i communicate with people and ask questions um so i said which version of guess is better Guess the AEW Fight Forever created wrestler that we played like three times. <laughs> or guess the forehead. It was a close one for a while, but in the end, the Fight Forever votes took control. So we will be playing Guess the created wrestler. These are real wrestlers that uh, folks have made on AEW Fight Forever's awful create a wrestler suite. And uh, once again, let me say, I am not making fun of the person who spent time to make this character. I'm making fun of the poor game that hurt me, that broke my heart. All right, it's going to be fun. Masked Heel, I'm so glad you're, you're enjoying the show. Valhalla Combat Club, thank you so much. Um, all right, here we go. We'll start it off. Who is this? Who is this? Please, please guess who this is. Who is this? <laughs> Jay White, AJ Styles. These are great guesses. Another AJ Styles. 
So we got one J White, two AJ Styles, Mittens. That's the uh, local uh, fan. CM Punk Kid, another Mittens. Uh, Mickey, Bruiser Brony, Chris Hero, a janitor. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Um, oh, Moxley, Mickey. <laughs> yeah, Steamboat Willie. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna say no one has no one has guessed this. Sadly, sadly, no one has guessed this one. Gonna stall for a second because people's time are different. Steamboat Moxley, wouldn't that be nice? Hacksaw, another good guess. Well, nobody got it. CM Punk himself, nope. This is. Sammy Zayn! <laughs> you see it? I guess if you squint. Do I take off my glasses? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright. We'll cover that up. And uh, we'll go to the next one. I have ten. We'll, we might do them all. We might do half and do another half later. That's Sammy Zayn. Alright. Who's this? Who's this young lady? Guess. Please. Please guess who this is. <laughs> Tiffany Stratton, Summer Ray, Alexa Bliss, Sable, a <laughs> child from one of those Mari shows about out of control teens. I think I've talked about that before. My dream was to get yelled at by a, a, a drill sergeant. I think I could take it. Charlotte, Kelly Kelly, they're playing my song right now, alright, I think someone got it, and uh, it will be revealed that this is Sable, Dr. Liam said Sable, I can't believe anybody got that, I think if I would have just left this chat open for another minute of guesses, they would have guessed every blonde Every blonde female wrestler that's ever been. Yeah, the sale of the century theme, which this is, is the shit. I think this should be sampled. I could rap over this. All right, so that was Sable. Dr. Liam got it right. All right, who's this next one? Looks like a guy at the company party getting thrown out. Suzanne says Gangrel, Harry Taylor, Ace Steel, that's good. Gangrel, another Gangrel. Chris Benoit, why not? <laughs> Red for life. Gangrel on the golf trip. Luger. Johnny Ace. Well, <clears throat> a couple people got it right. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Jericho in the PGA Tour, uh-oh. Uh, JBL says, cool dude, food, and... Let's see. A few people got this one right. It is... Gangrel! Who said it first? Whose animal said it right away? Uh, Valhalla Combat Club, Tom Green. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> All right, fourth one. Who's this? Who's this? <laughs> Just remember all of your guesses from two minutes ago. It's a very rough gangrel. Charlotte, Luna Vachon, Charlotte Flair, Tori Wilson. Now here's a here's some Ed Kaloff right here. Maurice, all great guesses. That looks just like Maurice. Close enough for me. Ric Flair from Iron Claw. <laughs> well, a couple people got it right. Liv Morgan, free Liv Morgan. Is she? Is she? She didn't get in trouble for uh, the weed stuff, right? All right. We got to get Liv Morgan on the show to play wrestler or weed strain. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, once she's released, we'll get her. Um. All right. Well. Charlotte Flair, a couple people got it right. Brian got it first, followed up by the Suzanimal. There you go. 
Legalize live. All right. Fifth one, halfway through. <laughs> I'm laughing because I know who this is. But I would never know who this is. The Rock. Solo Sokoa. Oh, that's the greatest mugshot that there's ever been. That should be on a t-shirt. Roman Reigns, Batista, another Batista, another Roman Reigns. Monty Brown, why not? Anthony Agogo, remember him? Aquaman, <laughs> Johnny the Bull, come back. Uh, Barbarian, <laughs> no belly button tattoo. They might not have it. They're created. Create a wrestler sucks. All right, well, a couple people actually got this right. Valhalla Combat Club and the Masked Heel. It is Batista somehow, some way. That is Batista. I don't know. All right, number six. Who is this gentleman looking for fun? Long hair, who cares? Where's my bong at, dude? Batista. <laughs> Raven, Raven, Triple H, Raisin, Raven, Triple H. Raven rebranded as a guy who knows therapy speak. That week, AJ Styles was in the flock. Stevie Richards, Dolph Ziggler, Raislin, Dolph Ziggler, Dave Navarro. <laughs> yeah, Dave Navarro, why not? With that shirt, it has to be Triple H. Well... You got to remember that their creative mode is no good. When when we did this before, they had a Bam Bam Bigelow that was a guy wearing a t-shirt that had red on it. That was it. All right, believe it or not, somebody did get this one right. And it is. You'll never you'll This is AJ Styles somehow. This looks like uh uh what's his name? The worst dude in the Bullet Club, the Crown Jewel. Oh god, the guy who sucks. I forgot his name. Um, Brian got this one right. Chase Owens! Yes. It looks like Chase Owens more than AJ Styles. All right. A few more. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. That's AJ Styles, folks. Now, who's this? The Miz! L.A. Knight. Miz would be the greatest heel in AEW. Another L.A. Knight. Yeah. The Miz. Another Miz. Harry and Cross. Remember him? Uh, L.A. Knight. Warhorse, but in Virtual Fighter. That is what Warhorse looks like now, I think. Yeah. Scott Hall. Why not? Another Warhorse. Wow. Don't cross the cross. All right. Well, this one was a little easy, I think. Rob Conway. Oh, it looks more like Rob Conway than than the uh, than who it really is. It is L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight. Yeah. All right. All right. Couple more. Couple more. Who's this? Sasha Banks. Candice LeRae. Both good guesses. Yeah, it's not a bad LA night for what it is. Sartori in the house. Mia Yim. Another Sasha Banks. We got two for Sasha. Mercedes Monet. There you go. Probably Sasha Banks, but Candice LeRae was also my first thought. It looks like Candice LeRae. Um, all right. Let's reveal it. Let's reveal it. Few people got this one. Uh, Susanimal got it first. It is Sasha Banks! I think it looks more like Billy Starks. Um, Alright. Julia somehow. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> Alright, two more. Two more of this grand game of guess. Alright, who's this? This is a favorite. I'm going to say no one gets this. I'm going to say no one gets it. 
All right. Look at this one and please guess who it is. Lex Luger. Okay, good guess. Matt Riddle. Lex Luger. Dave Meltzer. Why not? Brock Lesnar. Ultimate Warrior in the Shower. British Bulldog says Valhalla Combat Club. Dynamite Kid. Lex Luger. Davy Boy Smith. We've got two British Bulldogs. Gorgeous George. All right, I'm about to reveal it. I cannot believe that Valhalla Combat Club and Cool Dude Food got it right. I can't believe it. The British Bulldog. How is that the British Bulldog? How in the world? How? None of it, none of it tracks. Except for he's got the arm, the arm things. He's got, it looks like John Cena wearing a wig backwards. I don't know. Yeah, it looks more like Dynamite Kid. Looks more like fill in the blank. A Union Jack on the crotch. Okay, I thought it was a, 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 a American flag. All right. The arm, dra the arm bands in the pants. Yeah, I guess they're trying to go for braids. No braids, I guess. All right, one more final guess of the evening. Who's this? Who's this chap? Who is this chap? Solo. Solo Sokoa. Oh, that's Solo. Solo. Wow, everyone's everyone says solo. Ethan Page. There you go. Breaking the Rainmaker War Blow. A few more solos. Well, let's just let the avalanche of solos rain down upon me. Solo Sokoa is right. Perhaps I should have started with this one, but there you go. That's our game of guess. Thank you so much for playing and for voting to play this again because I was ready to do the foreheads. And we will, either next week or the week after that, we will play Guess the Forehead again. I have some more of those, and that was fun. So uh, thanks, everybody, for playing. I'll be right back with the rest of the show. All right, we're back. We're back. I didn't need to take too much time. How about that? Isn't that nice? Great game of guess. Thanks again, folks. And now let's uh, let's knock another thing off the list. Let's uh, we did guess. I'm I'm trying to stall because uh, Steamboat Willie is running a little late. I was going to do it at the top of the hour, but we're going to have to push Willie back. Waiting to uh don't worry about it all right so let's spin the wheel of funk the wheel of funk folks now if you don't know we have a lot of uh terry funk matches that have been submitted to the program both before and after his passing and i have collected them all matches that are under let's say 18 minutes i think is my limit on this uh they're all here. 
and I, I recently have refreshed it. Dr. Liam uh, sent a lot. Suzanimal, two, they're, they're top contributor A and B right there. Um, all right, well, let's do it. Let's spin this wheel and... Uh, all right. We like to rock and we like to roll. As you know, when they say roll, we spin the wheel of funk round and round it goes where it stops. Fortuna knows. MLW? ECW? Terry Funk versus Eddie Gilbert, Texas Chain Massacre, ECW in 1993. Well, I'm going to go dig that up. I will be right back. <clears throat> All right. Gordon, it's time for our Super Summer Sizzler Spectacular. Tonight's the night. It's the big show. Yeah, the kids of Bears are here. They're ready. They're Turn this up. Ready to go. Tonight's the night. The Texas Chain Match Massacre. Thank you, Gilbert's going down. You don't want to miss this, fans. It's going to be the hottest show in independent history. All right. Hot stuff, Eddie Gilbert. Paul Lee as his manager. <laughs> Milk boy. <laughs> well, Brian, I'm sorry to say that I haven't been, uh, Taking a lot of notes on possible titles. Milk Boy is somehow there. Donna Summer, great entrance music for wrestling. Talking over the ring announcer, bad, bad commentators. I've seen very little hot stuff. It's a name that I've heard a lot, and I've seen a couple matches and stuff. Pardon me. Uh, on this program, that's how I've, and you know, that's what this show's about: learning, learning. We're all learning. Here we go, Todd Gordon. I've seen very little of this early uh, ECW. Oh, it's that person that edits their matches with the the. Wow, God bless. They're really doing some editing. I'll take it. I will take it. I'll fold my arms and pout, but I'll take it. I'm so glad you're edutained, because this is sports edutainment. 
and I do own the copyright. It's that guy who who puts the uh, the TV static when he's cutting stuff out. See, Dr. Liam knows it all. And I mean that in the nicest way. I'm not calling you a know-it-all. I'm, I'm like in awe of, of all that you know. And it's why Crimson Mask Replica is a fantastic follow on Instagram. I learn so much every day. I don't think that editor is, uh, is an enemy of the show. He's doing his best. He, he made a judgment call. Bad judgment, but that's okay. All right. Look at the look of concern on Paulie Dangerously's face. This is a man who is absolutely concerned about this match, and if you recall correctly, didn't want Eddie Gilbert to fight in this match because he thought that he should have signed the contract and Gilbert signed it without him. Nothing was worse than um, I I, I want to say it was a Bull Nakano match. It was definitely a, a All Japan Women's match uh, where the the person had it where it was like. The thing where you don't want it to, uh, whatever, where you fix the shaky cam or whatever. Holy cow, it was terrible. And I think I had to stop it halfway through and find a different version. Oh yeah, these, these zoom out things. Two! Two! Live from a country that no longer exists, it's ECW 1993. Oh, God. I remember that. We watched that on the show. One of the... One of the times where I have to apologize to all the viewers for words of that someone else said. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm sorry, viewers. Uh, I didn't know that Alfred Hayes was going to have so much hate speech come out of his mouth on this <laughs> wrestling match. Terry Funk hanging, hanging hot stuff. <laughs> well, you don't have to apologize for submitting it, because I, I don't require people to watch every second of the thing they're sending in. We just all, we all, you know, we all went through it together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, there's too much editing. I feel like this person is just using those edits to get 10 seconds out. All right, back in the ring. Sip of water. Can't all be Mountain Dew going down my gullet. Get him, Terry! Can't all be Mountain Dew. Thank you so much. That might be the title. <laughs> it's between that and crotch necktie. <laughs> Speaking of Webster, on Christmas, I think Christmas Eve, with my sister, my sister and I, late at night watched uh, a Christmas special 
where it's Mr. T and and Emmanuel Lewis Christmas special, and Emmanuel Lewis uh, has no Christmas spirit, and uh, Mr. T takes him all around New York, some rockets sing in his face, and he I think by the end gets his spirit. Wow, Michael Myers and Freddy Krueger. Both Gilberts. I think I knew uh, Freddy Krueger one. I love all those copyright infringement monster wrestlers. We celebrate them every October here on the Pro Wrestling Potluck. <laughs> Mast Heal, you're getting me. Terry getting choked. Todd Gordon cheering him on. Oh. Emmanuel Lewis, uh, well, now he's a short adult, but he was a child at the time. He wasn't like a Gary Coleman um, situation or a Hervé Villachey. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, that's like, that. if I saw that at this Christmas, that <clears throat> it would have had the same effect on me. I am easily manipulated by stuff like that if it's the right uh, time, the right circumstances. Terry Funk, oh my god, referee, you idiot. <clears throat> there was no reason for that cut. Oh, that ref sucks. America or burst. Sabrina's running wild, folks. Eddie Gilbert got one. Two. Three's going for four. Terry's trying to stop him. <laughs> Eddie Gilbert, the king of Philadelphia, which sounds like an insult. The king of Philadelphia, that sounds like something you say to somebody and run. Yeah, that's a real mind blower. Put the crown on him. <laughs> yeah, it's good to be the booker. Oh, book myself as the king. Oh yeah. It's the ECW arena, even in 1993, they got some people who love the heels. Wow. Paul E hitting Todd Gordon. <laughs> like the king of Philadelphia sounds like the name of a sandwich. Oh, good point, Nathan. All right, there goes the king of Philadelphia. Terry, you're still our king. He's like me. You guys wanted me to wear this crown? <laughs> Let's see what Terry says. Oh, wow. He did it in Philly because he wanted Lawler to pass down the King gimmick in Memphis, and he refused. next still to come we got steamboat willie all right 
Jesus Christ. I want to write raps for wrestlers. Spanish red. Whoa, someone cutting your dick off. <laughs> I'll set your face on fire. Hey! It's Tina Ferrari. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this my new favorite tag team? This is the best. <laughs> Oh my god. What? Are these, are these the greatest talents ever? The housewives and heavy metal are the same people? Whoa. <laughs> Sam? Kitty a madam? Jackie Stallone, how dare you make Jackie Stallone rap? <laughs> Send some glow in, I've seen very little glow. And this is... This is killing me in a good way, I love this. <laughs> oh Christ, what? What's up, everyone, and welcome to this month's edition of Ice <laughs> 3. I am your host, Long Island Ice Z, Zack Ryder. And look, Mom, I'm not wearing my sunglasses. <laughs> anyway, throughout the month, WWE Classics on Demand. For some reason, they had uh, Zack Ryder intro good matches. And this is a good match introed by Zack Ryder for some reason. The unsung heroes. Yes, I would love to write AEW raps. My name's Darby Allen, and I. Let's take a look at my first pick, which features one of the unsung heroes. No, it isn't me. Although I definitely would consider myself. All right, Dean Malenko versus Two Cold Scorpio. Now, why is this on the program? I'll tell you, because this happened on the 100th episode of ECW Hardcore TV. Their Hardcore TV 100th episode featured this match. So now it's on our 100th episode. Referee checking both the shooter and Scorpio. I don't think it's Scorpio's nature to uh, smuggle a foreign object in the ring, and I don't believe the shooter needs one to hurt somebody. All right. And we have seen that in the past. We've seen a good bit of Scorp Dog on this show. Love to Cold Scorpio. Dean Malenko, of course. The man. Oh, there's Jason, the sexiest man on earth. What a gimmick. Oh, yeah, it doesn't. 
It doesn't, but it was a fun little thing for me to see the the 100th episode of some shows. We opened this, uh, this episode of Potluck with something from the 100th episode of SmackDown, Mike Awesome versus Jeff Hardy, which that is fun. That may have been the longest ring introduction we have ever had here in the ECW, and it just goes to prove what a long list of credentials as the shooter, Dean Malenko. Still to come, Steamboat Willie, our second biggest guest. I'm dragging my feet, hoping he uh, fits it in his schedule. Waiting to hear back this time. Upon his return to ECW, Scorpio's been on a roll, defeating Hector Guerrero of the world-famous Guerrero family. But last night, he suffered an ankle injury, one, <laughs> which may hamper his efforts tonight to wrest the Extreme Championship Wrestling television title from Malenko. Go behind by the shooter. Yeah, it's quite a change from 93 to 95, and it's so crazy that it's just two years, and it's a world of difference. The Major League Baseball players ended their 232-day strike in 1995. Man, I don't know how they were allowed back in the Major League with all those strikes. I thought it was supposed to be three and you're out. Oh, my God. I did not know that we were going to get pop-up jokes from Zack Ryder <laughs> through a good match <laughs> that hurt me Scorpio favoring that injured ankle yeah they can't <laughs> that's perfect yeah <laughs> you said it they just can't and play a match. They're like, well, how can we ruin this? <laughs> what can we do to ruin this? <laughs> nice. Two. Straight right to the jaw. Nothing fancy about that. How can we ruin this? Hey, that's great. Damn, that, that might be better than the Mountain Dew one. Jason coming over to discuss strategy with the shooter. Jason is quite the talent. Shooter seems to be in his own world, though. He's so focused. He is so intense. How can we ruin this? God damn, that's a good one. <laughs> Hey, Malenko pissed. He's definitely hot. He's back in the ring. Power elbow tie up. Go behind by Malenko. Dino Machina. Scorpio lands an elbow. <laughs> right overhand right by Scorpio. Make it two. Rabbit punch to the back of the neck. Malenko shot in. Face first. You know what? I, I commend WWE for not editing every bit that is an action out of this match. They really could have. Ooh, nice leg drop. Two! Two Gold Scorpio is one of those guys I want to open cage match and look at every match he's had and be like, Oh my god, this? He wrestled this person? Sometimes that's how I book this show. Malenko immediately rolls <laughs> off his back. Great wrestling instinct to get his shoulders off of the mat. And Malenko slides underneath the bottom rope, but Scorpio goes right out with him. He is tenaciously holding on and lifting at the same time. Malenko rolls back in, Scorpio right with him. Refusing to relinquish the hold. Referee asking 
the shooter if he wants to give it up. No way. Hey, how you doing, Progressive FB? Favorite active wrestler. Oh, geez. That's really hard to say. I don't know. The first name that came to mind is Julia, but I, I really don't know. There's plenty. There's plenty. Kanosuke Takeshita. Speedball Mike Bailey. These are a few of my favorite wrestlers. Oh, yeah, Jay White rules. He came crashing down hard. Welcome, Head Cheese, also Henry, that me. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to Pro Wrestling Potluck. Two! Yoshihiko, one of the greats. Hyper Misao. Scorpio getting the hell out of there. Andrew Heelan, thank you. 100 episodes. They said it couldn't be done. Then they said, please don't. And I'm still standing. Oof. This is from ECW Hardcore TV, episode 100. On the injured leg of the challenger Scorpio. Oh. Scorpio manages to roll out of the way. Malenko did not hit flush with that knee. Thank you. You know, the I would have called that the group the Devil's Kingdom. That's what I would have called him. If he's still going to be the Devil and hold on to that, then the Devil's Kingdom. That's so much better than the Undisputed Kingdom. That's like one of those whack WWE names where they just uh, say, oh, let's put the two names together. Oh, Malenko, cold and calculating. Ooh, I still got some of this watermelon Mountain Dew down the hatch. Jason roaming the ringside area. Smirk on his face right now as the shooter has matters. Well I like it. I like it better than uh, <laughs> Undisputed play. Kingdom, my friend. Referee Jim Muller asking Scorpio if he wants to give it up. No way for Scorpio. Malenko locked on a submission maneuver. Thank you, thank you, head cheese. Old episodes are on YouTube to, to watch. Check out the old episodes. Put them on while you clean, and they're, they're a blast to watch. I'd recommend the video game gimmick episode shooter continues to attack the lower leg of Scorpio. called Trapped in the Cartridge, my favorite episode I've ever done. More and more obvious that Malenko could win this matchup whenever he chooses at any juncture. Ooh. At some point, you have to think Scorpio. Malenko putting in the work on the leg of Scorpio. Perhaps the referee should seriously consider stopping this matchup. As the shooter is having his way with Scorpio, who doesn't stand a chance. I think if, if and when Against Kyle comes back champion. healthy, I think he should fight him. He doesn't need to join him. That's too Scorpio easy. Of course, do a fake out or something. Wraps up that leg. Both men tied up in the ropes now. Scorpio clutching that leg. And Malenko shoves him to the outside. And it seems the television title will not change hands tonight. As Scorpio retreats on one leg, on one good <laughs> leg. From the shooter. <laughs> if the ref stopped a match, these drunks the would <laughs> jump the barricade. And he smashes that chair to the ankle of Scorpio. This matchup is over. Scorpio kicking off Malenko. Great survival instincts by the challenger, who right now you've got to believe is not even thinking about the television title, but simply survival. Face first through the turnbuckle goes Scorpio. Scorpio whips it hard. Here goes Malenko. Ooh. Shoulder burst into the turnbuckle goes Malenko. 
Rubio scores with the forearm. Make it two. But he is still hobbling. He is in bad shape. Ever since that Zack Ryder pop-up, I've been on the, Oh my god! I ruined it! The movie Batman Forever was released. Personally, I like to refer to that movie by its alternate title, Batman Until the Franchise Reboots When I'll Be Replaced by Christian Bale. But that's just me. Jeez. Very unnecessary. Holy cow. At this point, <laughs> Malenko may not even be concerned with defending the TV title. He may just want to injure two gold Scorpio. Malenko going for a tombstone pile driver. No Scorpio reverses the hole. And Scorpio's going to score with the tombstone. Oh, tombstone from Scorp Dog. But instead of going for a cover, Scorpio trying to make his way. He's trying to do some Scorpio ball. stuff on one wheel. Ooh. My favorite reversal, yes. Sorry, I, I didn't call it. ATL Blood Feast mentioned Dennis Miller, so now I have to say, does anyone remember when Dennis Miller hosted Raw and bombed for two or three hours? <laughs> he was trying to do Nancy Pelosi jokes. Oh my God, referee bump. The guest host era was truly awful. Bob Barker, one of the only good ones. Oh, God damn, what a beautiful brain buster. Oh, he hosted the Slammies. Jeez, that's even worse. I have not seen that video, Dr. Shockmaster. My word. Pee Wee Herman, Bob Barker, Muppets. Yeah, those are the, the good ones. Hey, look, it's Taz. He's dressed like he just got back from Cancun. In street clothes. Taz is in the ring. He's behind Malenko. Remember, it was Malenko who injured the knee. The massive leg of the Taz Maniac. Malenko has no idea what's behind him. Taz Maniac. And now the two come face to face. You could feel, you could smell the hatred in the air. You could smell the hatred. Smell the hatred. Now that's episode title. Well, I guess Malenko is done with Scorpio. We have Dennis Miller. Uh, seems TV like he's bad in everything that he does. Maybe he's bad. Oh, oh head and arm Tazplex. Taz just suplexed Malenko on his head and folded him up like an accordion. Taz reviving the referee. And lifting out the ring. <laughs> Reviving the referee like it's a spell Two. that's cast. No. Two, thank Two. God! Where did he, where did Whoa, he Tales he from the Crypt with Dennis Miller. Now I need to seek that out. Christmas, I uh, watched the uh, Christmas one. Suplex Jones. And Taz drops the shooter again straight down. Samoan drop. Taz helping out Scorp Dog. Oh, he's in the movie. Oh, I haven't seen that. I have not seen that. Malenko seems to be on Dream Street. And who would be? Hello, kitties. That's my impression of the Crypt Keeper. He cinches up Malenko. <laughs> well, yeah, good call. <laughs> Max Teal. He looks like he just got back from a Pearl Jam music video. A new television champion. We got a lot of belt changes tonight, or two. <laughs> I think Andrew Heelan has summed it all up. Well, Taz has gained a measure of revenge against the shooter. Scorpers holding the tights. Doing whatever it took. Jason, the sexiest man on earth, get out of there. We may have a problem here. It's no secret the triple threat 
Not all too thrilled with Jason's involvement with the shooter. Oh, and this may be the end of it. Malenko angry. He is no longer Oh, we're going over champion. tonight, folks. And he can thank Taz for that. As we get closer to the Oh, yeah, Dennis Taz Miller, one of those guys who went nuts after 9-11. Survive if I let you. Ugh. Youch! I couldn't have coined a better phrase for the human suplex machine, Taz. And congrats to two cold Scorpio, by the way, even if he did get a little help. But I guess it's true what they say. You win some, you lose some, and you get screwed by Taz some. Wow. Elvis Presley was supposed to wrestle Jerry All right, Lawler. so these are our, uh, I got a hundred facts that you don't know about wrestling, and I think between us, we know them all. And here's the second half of this. Whose animal sent this in? Elvis Presley was supposed to wrestle Jerry Lawler, but died, so they got Andy Kaufman instead. Dusty Rhodes taught Finn Balor how to drive. Randy Savage lost all of his WWF and WCW world titles to either Hulk Hogan or Ric Flair. John Cena appeared in the WCW movie Ready to Rumble as an extra. There what? he is. Howard Finkel was the first employee hired by Vince Jr. when he took over the company from his father. I knew that. Out of 89 pay-per-view appearances, Hulk Hogan was in the main event of 78 of them. According to Bruce Pritchard, it was once the plan to have Roddy Piper fight O.J. Simpson at WrestleMania. According to Bruce Pritchard, that's when you know some bullshit's happening. 12. I'm glad that didn't happen. Bruno Mars was named after Bruno Sammartino because his dad was a huge <clears throat> wrestling fan. I knew that. Rick Steiner is an elected member of the Cherokee County School Board in Georgia. Seamus worked as Bono's bodyguard. And Brodus Clay worked as Snoop Dogg's. Joey Ryan has appeared in both Glow and uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. R-Truth has spent more days as NWA champion than Dusty Rhodes. Before it was Hulk Hogan, Bret Hart was Eric Bischoff's choice to be NWO's third man. However, he chose to re-sign with the WWF. How'd the gobbledygooker go? was Hector Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero's that. brother. You could fit a hard-boiled egg through Andre the Giant's ring, as in his jewelry ring on his Whoa. finger. Grow up. Terry Taylor was originally going to be given the Mr. Perfect gimmick. Instead, he would become the Red Rooster. Just I know that. Good. X-Pop rejected the chance to use Red Hot Chili Peppers for his theme song. He preferred to use Uncle Cracker instead. Idiot. <laughs> As part of his character, Balls Mahoney Both wouldn't shower choices. while in ECW. Pedro Morales is the only living inductee into the WWE Hall of Fame. To Most no of these aren't fake. I bet they aren't real. I After bet the from comments NXT, are really Cassius lighting them up. would take the pedigree on indie shows and kick out at one. Scott Hall was the man who came up with <clears> Sting's <throat> Crow gimmick. Beth Phoenix is the youngest member of the WWE Hall of Fame, entering at the age of 36. Ricardo Rodriguez was an extra in a porn film. Edge was voted most likely to be Thank WWE you, Tom. champion in his high You are the year. man. The Ascension's Follow Victor Tom, folks, in every Tuesday dungeon. night. WCW Tommy Deep Dreamer cuts. is the only man to hold the ECW championship in both versions of ECW. Bret Hart's original <clears throat> Twitter handle was Bret Shart. Whoa. <laughs> Jimmy Wang has never wrestler, won a singles Bret Hart. title anywhere he has ever wrestled, not even the indies. Daniel Bryan versus Kamala is a match that actually happened. I think we've watched Jerry that on Lawler this program. Jerry has held at least 220 championship titles in his career, but zero titles in the WWE. The wrestling album and Pile Driver were both produced by Simon Cow. Yes, Andre that the Giant used tonight. to use the Tombstone Pile Driver as a finisher. Out of all the wrestlers to portray the evil Russian stereotype in WWE, none were actually from Russia. Roman Reigns and Tyler Breeze were FCW Tag Team Champions. Tommy Breeze. Before it was given to CM Punk, Randy Orton once used Punk's This Fire Burns entrance music. I knew that. Bruno Sammartino turned down a role in The Sopranos when he found out there was swearing on the show. Undertaker has fought against two generations of the Rotunda family on a pay-per-view. He fought IRS in 1995 and Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania two decades later. John Cena's debut match against Kurt Angle wasn't planned. Originally, the open challenge by Angle was to be answered by The Undertaker, but he had come down with the flu, so a rookie John Cena answered the call instead. WrestleMania was almost called the Colossal Tussle. 
Renu that. That's not WWE how Tussle TV was spelled. Appearance was at Elimination right? Chamber Tussle is spelled with two S's. segment shot at John Cena's gym, where not he lets some FCW right? guys train. The Bushwhackers have had a five-star match and a minus five-star match. God bless them. That's, that's wrestling. Lunch boxes. Alundra Blaze is now a professional monster truck driver under her WCW name, I that. Producer. Stone Cold Steve Austin doesn't actually enjoy beer that Ooh. much. In what? fact, he's a self-described connoisseur of wine. Heath Slater holds clean pinfalls over both Edge and Chris Jericho on the same night within a minute of each other. Lita has wins against Stone Cold Steve Austin, Triple H, Kurt Angle, Edge, Christian, Shane McMahon, Chris Benoit, Eddie Guerrero, and John Cena. Ole Anderson did the voices for the Black Scorpion and the Shockmaster. And finally, Relic is killer spelled backwards. Oh, God oh. damn you. So that's our list. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and you can follow me I on think Twitter. some of them are wrong. If you enjoy some of them are kayfabe. You can pledge some to them our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash cultaholic. And most importantly, don't forget... Hello, friends. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we will know more about Dolph Ziggler and how he spent his million dollars. Nicholas Theodore Namath is an American professional wrestler and stand-up comedian. He is currently signed to WWE where he performs on the SmackDown brand <laughs> under the ring name Dolph Ziggler. The heavily muscled Ziggler has been a champion since his university days. <laughs> the record he had made in Kent Welcome. State University <laughs> is before. still unbroken. Well, he is currently contracted to WWE on the SmackDown brand and also did many wrestling episodes under the Raw brand. <laughs> he has been a WWE mainstay over the past decade. He debuted with the name Nick Nemeth. He was a member of the Spirit Squad and helped the group win the World Tag Team Championship. Let's start about his lifestyle and biography. Let's Full name it. is Nicholas Theodore Nemeth. Nickname is Dolph Ziggler. By profession, he is a professional wrestler. Born date is July 27, This woman sounds bored because she's probably forced to do 80 of these a day. Birthplace Future is potluck pick OU right there, Marge and Dolph. Zodiac sign is Leo. <laughs> and by religion, Mastelia, he's a me. <laughs> Christian. And by nationality, he's an American. Height is 6 feet and weight is 98 All kilograms. Right. I think after this will be time. Qualification graduated. School name is St. Edward High Steamboat School Willie, and our second college biggest name guest. is Kent State University. Father name is Donald P. Nemeth and Donald mother P. Nemeth name is in Kelly, the house. F. Kelly F. Nemeth. Siblings Ryan and Donald Nemeth. Eye color is blue, hair color is blonde and by profession he is an American professional wrestler and stand-up <laughs> comedian. Marital status unmarried. Girlfriend name is Nikki Bella. Girlfriend's name is Nikki Bella. And Pardon? This Favorite happened? food is chicken. Favorite color is black. Favorite actor is Will Smith. And favorite rapper is Eminem. Favorite actor His favorite Will Smith. Movies favorite movies is rap, Goodfellas. Favorite rapper, and favorite destination to travel I've is I've read that Miami. book, Nothing But A Good Time. His favorite sports is wrestling. Let's look at the net worth <laughs> of... <laughs> Dolph Ziggler. His net worth is five million U.S. dollars. Let's talk about his car collection. He has so much luxurious cars like Lamborghini, BMW, Audi, and etc. About his house, Ziggler lives in a beautiful <laughs> home located <laughs> yeah, in Phoenix, Arizona. Thanks for watching our video. Please like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much. All right, we just have the main event, but we got Steamboat Willie. I'm, I'm going to stall for a second and waiting to see if he's in the room. Um, I'm stalling. Um, so we've got a lot of guests in the 100 episodes that we've done. The first guest we had was Marcus Nell Jamal Ham from the Urban Wrestling Alliance. He was Marcus Jordan. He's our first guest. 
Then we had straight up John Watanabe, the voice of Urban Wrestling Alliance and the DVD releases of FMW. Then we had Fred Fletcher Jackson, two-time Wheel of Fortune champ and wrestler who got put in a hold by uh, the host, Pat Sajak. Cheapskate wrestler Matt Rivera, as seen on TLC, was also a guest. Then we had Sweet Cheeks Joey Silver, who played wrestler or candy back in October. And the biggest guest we've ever had on the show was a few episodes ago, our holiday episode. We had Santa Claus himself, the greatest guest ever, as voted by Instagram people. Uh, Santa Claus, top guest. But this is our second biggest guest steamboat willie i think he's getting in the room all right <clears throat> all right all right checking everything out all right <clears throat> My next guest burst on the scene in the 1928 animated short, Steamboat Willie. Widely recognized as the first cartoon with synchronized sound, it was also the launching pad for one of the most popular characters in the history of the planet, whose influence can be seen in every cartoon character, from Bart Simpson to the animated version of Mr. Bean. His contract with a major corporation recently ended, and now he's free to do whatever movies, TV, comic books, or Twitch streams he chooses. I am thrilled to introduce our next guest to the pro wrestling potluck, Steamboat Willie! Wait, hold on. He just messaged me. He's not doing the show. He's asking... He's asking for more money. First, he pushes it back an hour. He wants more... Look, I pay my guests. Oh, not much. I, I'm broke, but I pay, and he wants more, and he's... Everything will be simple. With just a look and a thought, anything can be yours. Looking further. Deeper. Longer. Into the buzz. All right, this is our main event. I'm so sorry about that, everybody. That's... I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I talked to him last week. We set it up. He already pushed back the time. I get it. He's look. He's everywhere. Every he's doing everything he can. I'm really sorry. It's embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Look, I've had guests, big timey. I've had uh, not anyone who's done the show. People that uh, have agreed to do the show and then backed out and now Steamboat Willie I guess is on that list he says let's try again uh, look I, I'm not even going to answer that yeah. I'm hesitant to make him an enemy of the show because he's he's the second biggest guest we we would have Nathan you you said it he turned out to be less of a mouse and more of a rat Who is the most famous person to turn down being the guest on the potluck? Does uh, does leaving me on scene twice count as turning me down? Because um, uh, Adam Clark, Adam Adam Clark, Brian Clark, Adam Bomb, 
left me on Reed twice. So, or seen, He's, he, he was there. Yeah, Micah's got that peace pipe coming out. I'm so sorry, I'm not giving these entrances what they deserve. This is for the vacant World of Stardom title. Micah versus Suzo Suzuki, two potluck favorites in our main event. Both Buzzbin shows are from the Queen of Stardom. Also, someone that I asked to do the potluck, and uh, I think they saw it. Oh, I don't know. I don't. I, I, I still could get him. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. But Brian Clark, I did a. Uh, I did a. Just circling back. <laughs> Thank you. I got a lot of great stuff sent to me this week. Uh, a lot of buzz stuff sent to me by ATL Blood Feast. I'm going to try and do a buzz show this weekend and uh, knock some of those out. The buzz bin shows are always fun, so follow me. That's true. That's true. One of the best cameos we played on this show is him, him to some poor person that he left, left hanging. Much like Steamboat Willie left me and all of you hanging. But I see Steamboat Willie's doing movies. He's appearing everywhere except uh, this show where he agreed to do it last week. Usually I cut out the entrances on these, but this is for the, uh, the title. This is our main event. The entrances help. Look at Micah and her peace pipe. That's going to be me the second the show's over. I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna scream into a pillow about Steamboat Willie. He's not an enemy of the show yet. Yet. I like to give second chances. Hey, Necro Eric! Just in time for the main event. You missed a heck of a show! It will be on YouTube ASAP! I gotta tell you, since I've been employed, or uh, employed, oh, that's not right. Since I've been unemployed, the turnaround from uh, Twitch to YouTube has been fast. I did not do the food fight. I don't have IWTV. I'm gonna search for it. Uh, when you asked me, I already pretty much had this show booked. So that would be on the uh, Buzz show for sure, because it sounds very interesting. <laughs> All right, for the vacant world of stardom title. So you know what that means. I'm going to be hitting the and new. Yep, I, I will repeat what I said earlier. I am looking for a good current Lucha bootleg source. Specifically, CMLL, Andrade versus Volador Jr. That was going to be our main event. And I was going to put this on the Buzz Show. Yeah, it, it, these Buzz Shows are easily, easily filled right now. There's so much. All right, bell has been rung for the vacant red belt. Fight! <laughs> <laughs> Mike, come on,
When Liv Morgan comes back, I hope she has uh, a peace pipe, much like Micah's. Damn, they're getting right into it. This is Stardom's main event. This is our main event on the 100th episode of Pro Wrestling Potluck. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Into the chairs. Oh yeah, Masha versus Miyu Yamashita. That's that's something. That's buzz. Masha had a great uh, cameo for for this show that Dr. Liam hooked up. We played that before the show started tonight. Mike is pissed. <laughs> Yeah, that Kota Ibushi stuff is sad, man. I don't know what to do. Should he just retire? Light a fatty for this live daddy. I'm telling you, the second she's released, I'm going to get her on the show to do Wrestler Weed Strain. Kota Ibushi, I think, broke both his legs or something crazy on the Noah show. I haven't seen it. I, I cannot watch stuff like that. But um, that's sad stuff. He was already not looking so hot. And he had taken a long time off. Yeah, see, that bums me out. I can't watch that. That makes me sad. Kota Ibushi, at some point, was one of the best. Suzo Suzuki looking to German suplex Micah into the table that is being held by her friends. Very nice of them to do that. Oh, he messed up. He didn't break him. Ooh. Coming back. Shoulder block. Going for cover. Two. Yeah, the fact that Stardom put this show on YouTube made me hesitant to uh, use it on the show because I thought that might trigger them to uh, get get after me on a copyright uh, tip. But I did a test upload of the Julia match, had no issues. So I'm hoping that this also has no issues. If it doesn't, then this is not on YouTube, and the main event is the uh, is me <laughs> complaining about <laughs> Steamboat Willie fucking me over. That's the main event if this doesn't make it to YouTube. Good block from Suzuki. Oh, I love that. Sliding German. Suzo Suzuki rules. Up the stairs. Down the stairs. Down the other stairs. <laughs> oh! And a flying knee to the head of Micah. 
That first set of stairs was just for show. The second one, I think, got, got gave her a little little momentum. The quarter mile knee lift. Ooh, nice! Carter with the power slam! Two! That looked like three. Touch my nose. Ooh, I've been so good at not touching my nose. Julia at ringside. Joey really is underrated, and he, he has those good runs with, like, uh, 90s uh, Japanese wrestlers. I saw the um, Great Sasuke match live. I talk about it a lot. I also saw the Jin Seishin Saki match. <laughs> that makes sense. Steamboat Willie blew me off to get on a yacht with Timeless Tony Storm. I believe it. Still breaks my heart. I hate to false advertise on this show. But he said, let's try again next week. I, I can't pay anymore. I think he knows how to get the best out of, like, uh, older gentlemen. An older gentleman. <laughs> Ricky Morton once gave me his phone, and I had to give someone directions to uh, the NYC arena where HOG was. And I said, now here's the address, and you put it in to Google. Bye. Clothesline almost sends Suzo Suzuki over the top, but she gets kicked under the rope. There's that table. Man, my nose is doing the Watusi. Oof. Yeah, good call. Oh my god, caught! Caught! Powerbomb! No! Oh, whoa! Wow! Reversed into the table. Suzo Suzuki stands tall, or leans tall. Sakurai <laughs> <laughs> かなり苦しそうです。はい。いや、こうなってくるとね、本当。これこそ、おえさん、はい、鈴の戦いですよね。そうですね。そのフィールド的にはあの鈴に傾いてますよね。今このままで行くのならば。いや、でもファイブ。
Oh, she keeps stalling at the top, and Micah has time to catch her. This is our main event tonight. This was also Stardom's main event. Another person that, uh, you know, I'm a Joshi dummy. I say it every episode. That's If you're playing the potluck drinking game, you drink when I say I'm a Joshi dummy. Uh, and, and I'm learning more every episode. And Suzo Suzuki is someone that we've watched for the last few months. And she is great. Both competitors up. Duck, duck. Ooh, same idea. Oh, wow. Lifts her up. Almost power bomb. Suzuki lands on her feet, but is taken down by a big time forearm from Micah. Oh my god, I forgot to do Hot Take Corner, my newest segment. I might have to push that back. Oh no, no, I'll do it. I'll end with Hot Take Corner. I knew I was forgetting something. It's very quick. Trading close to the face. Oh, parallel thought. They're both down. Up at eight. Oof. Forearm sensor stumbling. Yeah, Tam watching on. Stardom plagued by injuries and bad luck, but still putting on damn fine shows. Trading forearms in the center of the ring, right on the logo. Micah had a few at the end. Suzo Suzuki's down, face first in the mat. Mike is helping her up, helping her up. Suplex holding on a second one. Keeps it going. Hype train. She says, yo, that's it. という Oh, Suzuki fought, fought out of that. 
Mike is in a bad way, being turned around on the top rope just like that. Oh my god, what is this? Wastelock on the top rope. Avalanche German? My god. Oh, holding on, Bridge! Two! Micah kicks out on the Avalanche! German with a bridge to boot. Picking her up by her tights. Oh my god, look at that. Tries to roll through, got it. Second. Oh, on the toes. Two. Wow, wait. Referee checking the neck of Micah after the, the Germans. Suzo Suzuki says, that's it. Oh, got caught slipping. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Micah Carter. Oh, my God. Mishinoku driver. Yeah, they're, they're like actually out there for support. They want to see their teammate succeed. What a novel concept. Suzo. Poison Rana. Two! What's it going to take to crown a new World of Stardom champion? Oh my god. Got her by the hair. Continue. Oh, switching arms. Got tired. Ooh. Flattens her with that last forearm. Suzo Suzuki got her by the hair. Oh, wound up. Micah going for the pin now. Two. One. My mistake. My God. Yokindo. Tequila shot. Yeah, the, those spoilers have already been uh, done. But I, I, uh, thank you, everyone, for not spoiling Wrestle Kingdom. I'm not done yet. I appreciate uh, the spoiler uh, guard being on for that. Thank you. Micah got her up, running power bomb. Oh my God, diving with it. Beautiful. Ooh, that might be it. Hooks the leg. Wow. Suzo Suzuki kicks out. This is for the vacant red belt. Oh! Puts her down. A third? Three in a row, a trifecta. The rule of threes. Ooh, put a little extra on that last one. Hook the leg! Congratulations to Micah.
the new World of Stardom champion. That was great. Let me do this real quick before I say goodbye. I forgot to do this earlier. Scotty's Hot Take Corner. This is going to be a new segment on the show. I will just say this. Uh, the Rock appeared on WWE Raw last week. Is it just me or does uh, this Rock guy sound like a really tired LA Knight? All right, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. The 100th episode of Pro Wrestling Potluck. I cannot believe it. This show started in my living room years and years ago. It was just something. Group of pals, we all brought a match and, and, and had a good time. And then I started putting it online um, without hosting it. I would do gimmick shows without hosting and then uh, the start of 2022, I decided to host this, make something of it. And uh, I kind of est established that in 2022. And then 2023, I got weird. And uh, I'm so glad that people came with me on this. Um, because I got to tell you, when I changed formats of the show, when it went from just a mix to me hosting, there was a whole group of people who jumped off. But I have done uh, well since then, and I'm just finding a groove on this show, and it's growing on YouTube, and it's growing here, and I appreciate everybody watching and sending stuff in and spreading the word and just hanging out and having a good time because I really enjoy doing this. That's something that traces all the way back to the original living room run of this show is that I like putting together a show for people to enjoy and uh this is my creative outlet one of them the main one for the past couple year years and uh i love it and i i, I want to produce more weird stuff for this show more characters and guests and games and all that so i appreciate it everybody and uh tomorrow's friday let's not try it's almost the weekend get through it get through work do the bare minimum. Uh, so thank you so much, everybody. I've been Scotland Green. Follow me on all the things. Good night.